Well, howdy folks, I'm still feeling pretty crappy, but I'm feeling a little bit better. So I decided I'm gonna build this Platts kit from Sound Study Modular. This is, if you're familiar with Mutable Instruments Platts, this is their version of it. And they sell it as a DIY kit. <clears throat> but as I understand it, they've done all of the surface mount soldering for you. So let's get the board open and take a look here. There we go. So you can see all the surface mount is already done. So looks like I will be soldering the LEDs, jacks, and pots and buttons. All right. Here is our build materials. Let me check this over, make sure it's all here, and then we'll get started building this. Okay, looks like I've got all the parts, so let's go ahead and get started. Start by putting the uh, PCB into the little holder here. And the first thing we're gonna do is place the switches right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip it over and solder those. By the way, I got this new solder fan here. Let's see if it works. It's supposed to pull all the solder fumes away. And next thing we want to do is put in all of the LEDs. So right here. That's where all the LEDs go. Now these LEDs, these are the three leg LEDs and they have a, a sort of standoff that goes around them. They also have a flat side. And so the, the silk screen on the PCB also has a flat side. And so you just wanna line that up like this. Just like that. Okay, the next thing is the jacks. So I'm going to put all 10 jacks in here. I'll take the little nut off and this one will go here. Oh, there we go. That's a tight fit. There we go. And let's put them all in. Okay, now I'm going to put the panel on here to make sure everything lines up well. Looks good. And let's solder these all in place. Okay, and next is our potentiometers. So I'm gonna unscrew the hardware here and slide this one on just like this. Just like that. And let's repeat with all of them.
Okay, and now for the last things, we go ahead and we put these little buttons on. And then our last three potentiometers. Okay, and let's go ahead Put the faceplate on. Now we should be able to put the hardware on because the last thing we have to do is solder those three. But everything else should be done. Okay, so it looks good. Let's plug it in and test it out. Okay, so here we have plats in the rack with some other modules. What you can see here, I've taken the two outputs and put them into a mixer and this mixer is going straight to the interface. You'll hear it in a second. Now, what is plats? So it is a sort of model oscillator. So if you see these buttons up here, if I push this button, we go through eight different modes. And then if I push this one, there's a red mode as well for each one of those eight. So you have 16 different modes effectively that this oscillator can do. And depending on which mode you're in, this knob, this knob, this knob will do something different. And then this is not a stereo output. This is the main output and this is always an auxiliary output. And that auxiliary output will change based on which mode you're in. So let me just show you real quick. Now there's dozens of, of demos out there. So I'm just trying to show the basics. So if I bring up this side, that's the main output and we can hear it's acting like an oscillator. So if we turn these, you can hear it doing different things. Now, of course we can modulate those. So I have a couple of uh, modulation here. So I'm gonna plug that into these. And we can get some interesting movement and stuff change the pitch and then we can also of course feed it a one volt per octave sequence I'm gonna take these out for a second but in addition we can feed a trigger sequence and it has sort of a built-in VCA okay now if we want to adjust the VCA, we can push this, hold it for a few seconds, and then this changes, and then this changes the envelope, so we can make it really short, or make it much longer, based on whatever we want to do. So we can do all that. <clears throat> now, if I bring up the auxiliary wave here, it really fattens that up and again we can go back to modulating those and this kind of becomes an entire modular synthesizer inside of one module but again this is just the first mode so let's pick a different mode here Just beautiful. Now, of course, if I don't, I can change these things manually if I want to just. And if I don't want the aux wave, I can take that out. And there's just dozens and dozens of different options you can do here.
Let's bring that aux wave back in. And let's put our modulation back in. Some really neat tones. Now just for the heck of it, I'm gonna plug this into a delay here and then I'm gonna plug the delay into our output. Oh wow, that sounds beautiful. So again, I'm not gonna do a full on uh, demo of this today, but that's the basics you can see. So this can function a lot of different ways. Now, if I unplug the trigger output, we go back to more of a traditional oscillator. And if I stop the sequence, it's gonna continue to ring out like a traditional oscillator. But if I plug in that trigger, So it is kind of a complete modular in one little module. Pretty cool. But anyway, that's kind of a demo of how it works. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video or what I do on this channel, please give this a big old thumbs up. That like button really does help out the channel. Appreciate you.